we're, we're just blessed to have the base that we have up here. Unfortunately, in Louisiana, there are so many animals that are euthanized because of a number. Our relationship with Bark started after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Bark is a rescue down in Louisiana that started rescuing dogs after uh, Katrina hit that, that state. We were over at an adoption event with Bark Rescue in St. Catharines, and it was mentioned about a municipally run shelter down in Louisiana called Bastrop. Bark's relationship with Bastrop is they, uh, that is one of the shelters where they would uh, rescue dogs from. Uh, it is an overcrowded shelter in desperate need of assistance. Uh, and the shelter was in horrible conditions with overcrowding. Uh, they couldn't afford to buy food for the dogs. And we decided from that, from hearing the stories of what was happening in that shelter, that there was maybe something that we could do to assist. And are you guys declaring anything coming in with you It looked a lot closer on a map. Through the community partners, uh, North Bay, Sarnia, uh, OSPCA, and Georgian Triangle, we pooled our resources as far as uh, resources of time, uh, personnel, and vehicles, and headed down. Even with rest stops, heavy interstate travel uh, can take its toll on you. There's some uh, pretty long hours. So there's some spring thing hanging off the underside of the Sarnia vehicle. Didn't seem like it was actually part of that vehicle. Hopefully it wasn't important because, you know, the last thing we'd need on a trip like this is some kind of catastrophic mechanical failure. Chris and Jerry from Ontario SPCA had caught up with us overnight, but they needed some time to rest. So they were going to catch up with us in Bastrop. So we made it to the Bark facility in Alexandria, and uh, Jillian took us on a tour of her, uh, her facility. Part of the rescue effort was going to involve dogs that were currently housed at that facility. While the team were heading down to Louisiana, I was back here in Welland, and of course, uh, with 151 dogs coming in, we actually had to reach out to some of our other community partners in the farming community, and we rented a barn and converted it into 160 kennels. From the dogs that we rescued from Bastrop, the most common thing that we saw were bite wounds. 
so those were easily treated, and uh, we had a few with some eye uh, eye issues, which again have all been um, treated and taken care of. Okay, so go put her in the bus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's going to be Sarnia, 899, Isbell, 899. They were the same kind of Yeah. Because they're only big cages. But a lot of these dogs fight each other, so it's going to be. Do that. So where do you want to put Ruger? Well, well you're. Okay, Sophie. Come here. The crowded Bastrop shelter was now as close to empty as it could be. Man, y'all gonna have to get a good game of uh, dominoes or something going on. Y'all not gonna have nothing to do anymore. Well, I don't know. We still got, we gotta wash all the food bowls. And as for us, we look forward to a scenic and uh, event-free ride home. Our expectations may have been overly optimistic. So loaded up with dogs, the air-conditioned OSPCA trailer uh, blew a wheel bearing and was uh, stranded on the side of the interstate. There was definitely not smooth sailing the whole way. There were some bumps in the road on the way back. That's putting it mildly. A mechanic service was called and the rest of the convoy left for our next stayover point. We took turns on watch as the vehicles had to be running uh, in order to keep the dogs comfortable. So the SPCA trailer was eventually repaired uh, but was now significantly behind schedule because Chris and Jerry are drivers, they're not animal care guys. Uh, we decided uh, that we would have to leave one of our members behind. Uh, Tropical Depression Cindy was over the Gulf Coast while we were in Louisiana and uh, the rain that it uh, created dogged us uh, pretty hard through the, the southern states on our way back up. The air conditioning unit on the RV started acting up. Fortunately, Daryl from uh, North Bay is pretty handy with these kinds of things and he was able to fix it. The last thing we need on this trip at this point is another setback. So uh, a number of dogs that came up from Louisiana, of course, uh, did test positive for heartworm. We were expecting that when we went down because it is pre very prevalent down there. We are fortunate enough to have received a grant of $20,000 from PetSmart Charities of Canada. So all the adoptees will come back in uh, and we'll treat them that way and we'll eradicate the heartworm in all of the adoption dogs. The outcome of the event at Sony Creek was uh, truly amazing. We brought 151 dogs in from Bostrop. We had approximately 40 dogs from our northern communities, our indigenous communities in the north. It's unbelievable still trying to take it all in. Uh, and over the course of the four days, we reached 228 total adoptions of dogs and cats. You know, you're always going to get people who are going to say, you know, why are we doing this? Why are we helping out those people way over there, those dogs way over there? We have dogs in our own backyard. And yeah, we do. And we adopt out tons of animals in our own backyard every year. I don't know, some people just got nothing better to do than complain. You haven't heard from Jillian lately, have you? Talked to her last night. She say anything about what's going on in Bastrop? Is it full again? 
she said to me that they went to remove the last three dogs that we were not able to take when we were there because their time was not up for them to be removed. And there was already 20 dogs in pens. And that was like three days after. It's a story that's probably happening in many different shelters across, across the U.S. And, and beyond. So a story that needs to be told.